Hey guys, Keith here. Um, as promised, another unboxing. This one is the the little surprise. Um, let's pop it open. Use my bench might again. Um, I forgot to mention this is from MrTitanium.com. Um, maybe that'll give you a little insight into what it is. Packing slip. Okay. Mr. Titanium obviously deals in titanium. He deals in jewelry. I finally found a source for titanium chain. This is a, a 40 inch chain. The cool thing it comes pre-terminated for use as a necklace. I mean, this is the, the largest one he sells, 40 inches. Um, a bit long for a necklace, but my intent was to use a piece of it for an EDC project and keep 20 inches for a necklace. So that's that's cool. I don't have to do any work on one end. I just have to transfer the, the jump ring further up the chain. All right, zoom back out. So, 40 inches of titanium chain. I forget the model. It's on the slip here. This is his number CHC440LCS. He calls it a 3.8 millimeter medium titanium curb chain. Uh, the length is 40 inches. The price was $140. Uh, and five dollars shipping which came with insurance I felt that was a, a good deal when you he sells a uh, six inch lengths eight inch on up the the chain I think it starts at like thirty dollars for the short one so really it made more sense to buy forty all in one go rather than buying the, the six or eight inch piece that I needed all right so I know we're all curious how much does 40 inches of titanium chain weigh. Um, one thing I did want to point out on the class, it's going to be impossible to see, it, it is marked Titan, so I'm assuming that that could be titanium as well, making this all titanium, which would be really cool. Forty inches of titanium chain plus the clasp is 0.482 ounces. That's really light. Um, what it's going to replace is this piece of jewelry chain that I've got on my keychain. Some of you may have seen this on EDCF, um, edcforums.com. Um, this is my Tech P7 suspension clip and the the chain dangles into my pocket everything connects to this titanium ring that we talked about in an earlier video so I'm betting that just this this piece of chain plus the attachment hardware weighs more than this barely more 0.44 uh, 4, 4, 5, 5 ounces so the the six inch chunk that I'm going to need for this job will reduce the weight significantly. Um, this is a titanium clip on this end. The uh, the P7 and the stainless steel clip on this end. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut film. I'm going to pop this chain off, and we'll weigh just the length of chain. Okay, I'm back. I've got uh, my six inch piece of that old jewelry chain and six inch piece of that titanium chain. All I did to separate the titanium links was just bend one. So, 
the length of chain by itself. 0 0.1880 ounces. This titanium chain, 0 0.0725. So a tenth of an ounce we're saving. Impressive, no? With the clip, the chain by itself, we're saving still a tenth of an ounce. That really didn't surprise me. Okay, so all I'm going to do to put this together is take my piece of titanium chain and uh, run these split rings through the ends. So I'll pause the video and come back when that's done. Okay, so I've attached the, the titanium chain and my keychain dangler is back together again. Um, I was in a discussion on EDCF about uh, whether or not the suspension clips were worth the money. And I think they are. Um, I've got my titanium chain in place of where the, the old piece of jewelry chain was. And I was displaying this on uh, EDCF a little while ago. Um, somebody asked, you know, the best way to set up the suspension clip or something. This is how I do it. Rather than putting the clip in my pocket, where wear and tear, maybe you shift around, get your hand in there, you still have this to catch on. I like to take it and clip it to the belt or the, the waistband of my pants. Now the the chain length dangles the the clip right there at the corner. It's hard to really get a good grip on where, but you can see like that the the tip of the chain is roughly where the the pocket bottom is. Which when we attach my ring and keys and uh, prion, I guess. Everything slides into the pocket and can dangle there freely. I still have good retention. I can pull my keys out. It's long enough where I can pull them out and, and take off whatever I need. Also, I have this smaller stainless steel clip up here at the, the dangler itself. So in case I'm in a situation where I don't need to dangle from waistband to pocket, I can bypass that piece of chain. And now it's mostly a regular dangler. Um, still probably a little long with the 45 millimeter clips and the, the ring, but it does serve its purpose. It'll jacket pocket, um, maybe some jeans. The six inch is a little, little long for jeans pocket. Your gear will end up still nicely bunched together but it'll end up in the bottom of your pocket so that is my newest iteration of my keychain made possible from uh, a nice segment of chain from mrtitanium.com uh, now he does have other varieties other styles this was listed at 3.8 millimeters which sounded bigger than it than it really is. Um, this is a three millimeter ring so I would have expected it to be about 25 percent bigger but it's not. Um, still I think the the titanium is certainly stronger than this pop metal. It's a lot smoother and uh, and I did of course get enough to make a necklace and still have Oh, 20 inches for the necklace, minus 6, 14 inches left over for other projects. Um, one of which will be to replace this small piece of chain that connects my prion to this clip. Um, again, it's just the same jewelry chain. Um, but then again, this, this jewelry chain was $12 at Target, and I got like 4 feet of it. This was 145 shipped to my door, and I got 40 inches. So, length about the same, price way out of scale. This is already looking beat up. You can see where this... I, I have my doubts on the strength, really. Uh, the titanium, not so much. 
Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this at least a little entertaining. Um, coming up in future videos, I've got a mod for that Sunwayman V10R that I showed you yesterday, and uh, that's some more stuff coming in the mail. All right, thanks. Have a good night.